Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 99 and the question is 7. It reads, a train is travelling on a straight track with velocity 30 j hat. A car visible from the train is travelling on a straight road with velocity 10 i hat plus 6 j hat, where the speeds are measured in meters per second. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the car's velocity as it appears to a person sitting on the train. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the motion by drawing our y-axis and our x-axis making our xy our Cartesian plane. I have my unit vect vectors designated up there. Next we need to draw the vectors. So we know that the velocity vector for the train is 30 j hat. So it's 0 i hat plus 30 j hat. So vt is equal to 0 i hat plus 30 j hat. And the velocity of the car is 10 i hat plus 6 j hat. So here's VC, so 10 i hat plus 6 j hat. One sec there now, so VC, 10 i hat plus 6 j hat, like so. And what we're asked to find out is the magnitude and direction of the car's velocity as it appears from a person sitting on the train. So as it appears, so I, as I've said before plenty of times, that we'll say VAB means it means the velocity of A relative to B, where B means, where B feels that it's stationary. And for one of the last times I'll say that if you're moving, it is mathematically equivalent to say that the world is stationary and you're moving, or to say that you are stationary and the world is moving. So that's what we're saying here. We're saying B feels, if B is saying, I'm going to say I'm stationary, what hap what's the world doing? And the world in this case is, the is A, or the car. So, if the passenger is on the train, so what we're actually going to find out is the velocity of the car relative to the train. Because the train, the, the second letter here, of course, says that the train thinks it is stationary. Not thinks, excuse me, it, uh, it can analyse the motion by saying that it is stationary. It's mathematically equivalent. So anyway, the, look, the maths of this is, is, is very simple. So it's VC minus VT, and that's equal to 30i hat plus 0j hat minus 6, uh, oh, uh, minus, oh, where's the VT? Oh, that, that's, in, that's completely incorrect. What are we doing there? So it's 10i hat plus 6j hat. I was looking at the wrong thing here. Uh, minus 0i hat plus 30 j hat. Now you take into account your negative signs, you're going to get VCT equal to 10 i hat minus 24 j hat. So that is that is the velocity vector, the velocity of the car relative to the train, where the train believes, or the train feels, or is analyzing the motion, saying that it is stationary. So to get the magnitude of the velocity vector VCT, it's squared is equal to the square root of 10 squared plus negative 24 squared. And if you just plug that in, you're going to get the square root of 676, which is equal to 26. And the direct, the, excuse me, the direction. So that's another xy or Cartesian plane. So this vector is in the positive x and negative y, so it's down here. So that's the only the, 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 the negative signs just give me a, my, my direction. So if I resolve it in respect to the unit vectors, we get that. The two vectors which when added together create this vector. This is V C T I hat. This is V C T J hat. That's equal to 10, that's equal to 24. So in order to get, we'll say alpha here, we'll say tan alpha. Tan alpha is equal to 24 over 10. Therefore, alpha is equal to inverse tan of 24 over 10 alpha. Turns out, of course, to be east 67 degrees 38 seconds. Now, how do you know it's going east? Well, because if this is your if this is your compass, this becomes north, south, east, west. We're going this way, so we're going south of east and the angle was 68, 60, 67 degrees 38 minutes. And that is correct. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.